This time, we're going to be looking at solving systems using elimination and answering the question, how can you solve a system of two equations by elimination? We're going to be making six steps to do this. Let's look at an example. I see that both equations, one underlined in blue and one underlined in green, are written in standard form. This saves me the work of step one, which is to write both equations into standard form. Standard form being ax plus by is equal to c. My top problem I underline in blue, and I'm going to multiply that entire equation by the a from the bottom equation, which is 3. This is going to give me a new equation of 6x minus 3y is equal to 18. The bottom equation, underlined in green, I'm going to multiply by the opposite of a from the first equation. So negative 2, and I'm going to get a new equation of negative 6x minus 2y minus 32. This will show me my second and third step. My second step being to multiply the top equation by a from the bottom and to multiply the bottom equation by the opposite a from the top equation. Once that's done, I'm going to add both equations together. And when I do this the same way every time, my x's will eliminate, leaving me negative 5y is equal to negative 14. I divide both sides by 5 and get y is equal to 14 over 5. Now that I have that, that's going to give me my y solution. And that was my step 4, to add both together and solve for y. Having found y, I need to substitute y into an original equation and solve for x. I'm going to substitute y into the top equation to get 2x minus 14 over 5 is equal to 6. Now to remember how we get rid of fractions, I'm going to multiply the entire equation by that denominator. This is going to give me a new equation of 10x minus 14 is equal to 30. I'm now going to write my x and y as an ordered pair, or 22 over 5 comma 14 over 5. This is my last step to make an ordered pair of x and y. Here we see the steps to solving systems using elimination. Using these steps, we're going to take a look at the second equation. In front of the bottom equation, that there's a number 1 in front of x. So I've multiplied the top equation in blue by 1, leaving it unchanged. But the bottom equation, I'm going to multiply by negative 1, because I see nothing in front of x on top, which means there's a negative 1 giving me a new equation of negative x minus y is equal to negative 3. My step 4 says I'm going to add both equations together, and I'm going to get 3y is equal to 3. Divide both sides by 3 and get y is equal to 1. Knowing what y is, I'm going to substitute it into one of the original equations, and I've chosen the green equation because it looks simpler. So x plus 1 is equal to 3. Subtracting 1 from both sides, I get that x is 2. And now that I know that x is 2, I can put them together as an ordered pair so that I get 1 comma 2. A good keynote for yourself is to use these when the variables are lined up in standard form. Remember, studying math makes you more interesting. So be interesting and study math.